friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Don't mind my towel here, but I'm on my granite countertop and the gray like mixed color of it doesn't work well with everything. So I just wanted to put a white, a white background. So if this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. So today's video, we're making pop sockets. We are doing pop sockets with sublimation and epoxy. These sublimation blanks, I got them on DH Gate and they're super easy to find. You just put in sublimation pop sockets or sublimation foam grips and they will come up. They still come up. I don't remember how much I paid for them to be fair. They were not expensive for the amount of them and they came rather quickly. You can also find these on Amazon and they work really good. So the one thing I will tell you, they do have a plastic film over them and I'm really bad about forgetting to take it off. So all of these, I sublimated them with the plastic film on and had to take it off, but you can see the sublimation still goes through and the epoxy will bring your sublimation out even more. However, when I do remember to take the plastic off, it's even brighter. All right, so on this one, this is actually the, the Tigger song notes on here, and then I put a Tigger on there. And then this one is Winnie the Pooh's house, and then I have Winnie the Pooh. Now this one is the background of it is my grandson's. And then on this one, it's a Winnie the Pooh saying, and it says sometimes it's the smallest things that take up the most room in your heart. And then I just put that over my little grandson's pictures there. So cute, I love them so much. And then this one is a Winnie the Pooh um, page out of the book and and then Christopher Robin and Winnie done in vinyl over top of it. And this one is the page that says, if you live to be a hundred, I want to be a hundred minus one day so that I never have to live without you. And there's that, my favorite. That is by far my favorite thing from Winnie the Pooh. I just, I love it. And so this one is just, I use my Cricut and cut out vinyl, put over top of it, and again, really cute. So I wanted to do these all in Winnie the Pooh. Of course, you can do anything that you want. I hope that you like these friends, and if you want to see them put together, just keep watching because we'll be putting them together next. And I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day, and I'll see you later. Bye. All right, so I have I have my my Cricut heat press warming up to 400. So these are what I'm going to be using. Now these are sublimation. They come with quite a few in a pack. So one of the things that I like about these, I will use these for sublimation or even for just regular glitter pop sockets. And then sometimes I use these little tags put whatever it is that I want on them. And then I use this piece to make a, a tag to go on my badge reel. And it doesn't ruin the use of the pop socket because the pop socket I can still use and just put like my epoxy piece directly onto it where I would tape this in normally. And so then sometimes I actually get a double use out of these. So today we're gonna to be using these to do the sublimation. I've already printed my pieces. Now remember, 
if you want it to be in a specific direction or if you have writing, you do need to reverse your piece. Otherwise, your writing will come up backwards because you are ironing it on. So I have my pieces. I'm gonna, these are gonna be the bases for my pop sockets. And this, the music here is for Tigger. This is the Tigger song. Oops, sorry. And then we've got this one. And this one is still in a square because Design Space is really being crazy right now. And, and for this one, when I would put it into a when I would put it into the shape of a circle, I couldn't get it to print. The others did, which is better than it has been recently, but this one I couldn't get to print. So I also have heat tape. Now, if your item is like completely covering the piece and you're not gonna be putting any sticky parts anywhere that are not on the item, you know, you can use like a masking tape However, if it's on your piece that will like touch a, the surface, know that masking tape will give you a residual when, when you heat it up of like that stickiness to it. So the heat tape is made because it won't do that. So I'm just going to put my pieces on. I'm just going to put a little piece of tape to keep them in place. Then again, I'm just make sure I put it to the sublimation side so my silver is going to be back. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pieces down. I'm actually going to do them this way like this. So I've got a I've got a piece of butcher paper to protect the bottom and with this I have a piece of butcher paper to protect the top. Sorry about that. Reese is standing here beside me. He is getting like insanely big insanely big and he can like just touch everything so he always likes to come up and nose the camera all right so now i'm gonna just put this on and this is gonna be for 60 seconds and i'm just gonna give it some nice good pressure while it's going all right so now we'll lift this up now, the one thing I have found in doing these, when when I first did one, I was a little bit like, oh, because the color was not super beautiful. But what I found is that once I put epoxy on it, it really, really picks up the color. So I'm gonna let these cool for just a second. So here's this one. So Winnie the so Winnie the Pooh page. I keep forgetting that there is a plastic coating on these, and then I press over top of it. And so then I gotta peel the plastic at the same time. But as you can see, it does it, it still works. You can still do it. And then there's this. So these are my little grandsons. That's Michael and Matthew. And this is the Tigger the Tigger song, so the music notes to the Tigger song.
and here we have Winnie the Pooh's tree. We are going to, I have some epoxy made. So I like to use these little cups when I'm doing epoxy on these pieces here. Kind of helps to set it up. This first layer is not going to be a lot of epoxy. It's going to, the first layer is just going to be, you know, enough to give it a nice base. Put this right here. Now, if you hear the heater going, I'm, I hope it's not too noisy, but it's very cold. It's like 40 here in Florida. So I need my heater to go so that my epoxy does not get, you know, messed up from the cold. This way I can still do epoxy. So even though I'm in the garage, of course I got the garage door open while I'm working. And even though I'm in the garage and the weather's better, I still need it to be a good, a good temperature. All right, so I have my epoxy mixed up here. Just going to put some epoxy over top of these. I mixed up about six cc's, so I did three of each. Three of A, three of B, so obviously it's not a lot of epoxy. But like I said, I don't need this to be like super, super thick. This is just going to be to give it a base for the next piece. And I'm hoping you can, can see and tell, I don't know, but the epoxy really like brings the color out a lot. All right, so we will let these dry and then from there we'll come back and finish them up all right so my pieces are dry and look how pretty they look so nice now these ones that i'm just going to be tacking um poo and tigger to so this one will be poo it looks so good like honestly if i wanted to I could just tack poo and be done, but you know, since I'm doing epoxy on the others and I do like a nice really round dome, I will put more epoxy on there, but it looks good. I don't have to. And here's the Tigger music and same thing. Like I could put Tigger on and this would be done if I, but you know, since I'm doing the others and I like a round dome, I'm going to just go ahead and put some more epoxy. And then here is my page out of Pooh Bear. For the two that I, where I'm doing Tigger and Pooh, these are dress it up buttons. And I also have a set that's just Pooh Bears and just Tiggers, but instead of opening two packages, I'm gonna open this one that has both. And you can see it has Eeyore, Piglet also. I'm just gonna cut the button piece off. All right, so. I have my little Tigger, and I'm going to put him on. And then I'm going to put Pooh Bear on by his little house. And I'm going to use UV resin just to tack them on. Now, because I'm just tacking and I'll be putting epoxy, like I'm just going to do one little like three minute round with these. I'm 
but I just want to show you how I, you know, how I tack them on. And I like to do this with these ones. I don't do it when I'm doing my, like the Mickey molds because the shape of the molds, like it doesn't slide around as much, but like with these little round ones like this, you know, it slides around and you risk missing, messing up your project. So, you know, I mean, you don't have to do it if you don't have UV resin, but since I do, I like to do it. All right, so I'm just gonna let those go for three minutes and then we'll come back and we'll finish up. Right, I have my epoxy mixed. Have my heater on because again it is still cold. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on here. I wanna kind of go around my little tigger.
All right, so we'll let these dry and then we'll come back.